Hi guys and welcome to the channel and to my base review series where we find the best bases throughout the world, test them out in the Legend League, review them and then give them a score out of 10. Perfection achieved, yes. So today, here is the Town Hall 12 Legend League and War Base we'll be reviewing. It's a bit different. I like it. But the thing is, guys, do you like it? The only way we're going to find out is by watching some awesome Legend League replays in a moment where you can see this base in action against some of the world's top players. See if it's any good. If you are impressed and you do want to try the base yourself, it's easy. Just head on over to the video description, click on that base layout link, and kaboom! Yes! The base will appear on your device just like that so we're going to check out some awesome legend league replays in just a moment guys also town hall 13 is on the horizon there's going to be loads of exciting things coming up so make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the samus army and join me as we reach nearly 14,000 subscribers guys you are amazing thank you so much for your support anyway yeah let's go on over check out some replays and see if this base is any good so here's my Legend League defence log for the base, guys. Over a three-day period in the Legend League, we had 20 attacks against the base. Of those 20 attacks, 5 were 1-star attacks and 15 were 2-star attacks. No 3-star attacks, so I'm really happy with that. And quite a few of the 2-star attacks were low percentage. So yeah, the base has done really well. Plus, I was running the base with three single target Inferno Towers. I think if you were to change a couple of those to multi-target, it might improve the base's performance. So anyway, guys, let's jump in and check out some replays so you can see how awesome this base really is. So here's our first attack, a Bam Bam with a bit of an unconventional army, five healers, six peckers, nine bowlers, and no bat spells to be seen. We do have three jump spells, which sometimes can work really well if you've got the town hall on the edge of the base, but if you've got a centralized town hall, you're thinking, why did I bring three jump spells? I don't need them. But anyway, Bam Bam attacking at the bottom there. Most of the troops going in there, punching through with that wrecker. Trying to get the records of the Town Hall. Quite a few of the Peckers have peeled off to the right there with some healers. Queen's on the left there. Nobody's really helping out that wrecker. And it's going to get attacked by all of those defences there. And the CC troops, maybe. So, first part of the battle. Can the Town Hall be taken down here? I do believe an Ice Golem and Pecker have stepped out of that wrecker. And uh, the Ice Gol is going down, I believe. Yes, boom. Ice Gol has perished. And the Town Hall is still standing. Great stuff for some moose. Anyway, and now my CC troops are off on an adventure. Off they stroll. Look at them go. Quite quick, actually, out there across ground. Beautiful hurdling over those walls. And now they're going to say hello to the Grand Warden and Queen and compound their misery. So, yeah, that attack sort of went wrong as soon as the Ragger did not take down the town hall. <coughs> Sorry guys, I had to cough. I had to cough. Yes, yeah, so, bam bam. Unlucky there. Unlucky. Remember guys, if you do watch any of my attack strategy videos, you'll know that one of the main rules that I set is you need to get your record to the town hall. If you don't, you've got a good chance of getting one star and 52% uh, attack like bam bam there. Second attack, who have we got here? Then we got giants, balloons, healers, dragons, witches, bowlers. We've got a bit of everything here. So on the left and right, we've got the Edrex in the middle, the giants strolling in, then some bowlers. In goes the wrecker though, nice and early, which I think you shouldn't do because look, the queen has targeted that wrecker now and that wrecker is getting wrecked and the wrecker is down and this attack already is in a bit of danger of failing because who is going to take down the town hall eagle artillery has just been activated the queen is there and she is what's she doing she is just taking on my eagle artillery it's just been painted what are you doing leave it alone jump spell put down to try and entice the queen to take on the town hall but she is saying no thank you i'm gonna go over here and uh, take on the clan castle troops because that's more fun and now she is being harassed by an ice girl and some witches so that's not looking good for her down there some boulders on the right there the grand warden's up to the top left 
So yeah, the town hall is still standing, and if that town hall is still standing, and the Giga Tesla is angry, you're in trouble. Again, the Queen, and look at those witches again going over there in pursuit of the Grand Warden. Behind you, Grand Warden, behind you! Oh no! And our attacker has said, enough is enough. So on to our last replay, guys. How do you think this attack will go? We've got, oh, it's the old E-drag attack. Loons and E-drags. So this, uh, I struggle with this attack myself on centralised town halls. It's hard to funnel. So it looks like our attacker is basically just plonking everything down. Yeah, why not? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Place your bets, guys. Will this attack work? Will our attacker take down the town hall? Grand Warden ability used nice and early. King and Queen not yet used. So the town hall's been frozen, but the air sweepers are really messing with those airborne troops. Now in comes the slammer there on the left. In goes the King and Queen. But look, the King and Queen are going to be harassed by the CC troops. I will be doing a video shortly on which CC troops I feel are best. But definitely having a couple of witches in there is a fantastic idea. Look how they're sort of just keeping the heroes occupied there. And uh, sorry guys, I got distracted and there's no air troops left. The town hall's still standing. This looks like it could be a zero star attack. The Queen's getting single target infernoed. But she's used her ability... Grand Warden is zapping uh, that Ice Golem in the leg. And the Ice Golem's turned around and said, Listen, guys, I'm going to freeze you. And, uh, yeah, the King is trying to get at the tunnel. And out come... What's that? Some miners. Was that miners? No. No, ignore me, guys. That wasn't miners, was it? But anyway, the King versus the town hall. Who will win? The single target Inferno wins 70% of the time, all of the time. Yes, beautiful. 50% one star, just, just. So there we go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the replays. I really like this base. It's another one of these bases This is a bit different. You know, people come up against it and they're like, what's going on here? This is a bit strange. 20 attacks against it in the Legend League, no 3-star attacks. You could obviously modify it yourself if you want to. Let me know how you get on. Change those uh, single-target Infernos to multi-target. See how it works for you. But yeah, I really like this base. Today, guys, I'll be giving this base 8 out of 10. A good base. I'd love for you to modify it and let me know how you get on with it. So, guys, if you've not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. This is Samu signing out. The... The man flu I've got is getting a bit better. Still feel like I want to cough all the time. That's why my voice is a bit uh, strange still. But anyway, guys, pleasure as always. So Moose signing out, and I will catch you later.